Welcome to Chiller Theater. With Ned the Dead. Dr. Moreau. And Edna the Talking Skull. Tonight, Swamp of the Lost Monsters. Ladies and gentlemen, Ned the Dead. Chiller Theater, it's my kind of show. It's a crazy show, it's a happy show. It's my show, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey everybody, I'm Ned the Dead. My friend Doc Burrows in the house. And you're here for the unusual and exciting Chiller Theater. That's right, everybody. Chiller Theater, the show where we show movies a thousand times. We say things that most people don't say. And we do it in a way that pleases you, the television viewer. That's what we're all about here on Chiller Theater. Now, to tell you about tonight's movie, to give you all you'd ever want to know, the man who knows more about these movies and about life and about situations and about just plain old happiness, it's my buddy Doc Moreau. He's the kingpin of Chiller Theater and he's here for you on Doc's Movie Lore. Roll it, Doc, or what? <laughs> TV was full of CSIs and law and order cops. There was a time when detectives were everywhere. All kinds of them. Fat detectives, old detectives, blind detectives. I'm reminded of that because Swamp of the Lost Monsters features a crime-solving cowboy and his dancing horse. And that's not all. It's also a genre mashup. Did you ever see Sean Connery in a movie called Outland? It was a sci-fi western. High noon in outer space. And instead of the noon train, the bad guys were coming on the Wednesday shuttle or something. Well, it's like that. Swamp of the Lost Monsters is a horror western mystery. One of the most entertaining movies ever imported from Mexico by a guy named K. Gordon Murray, who had a bunch of them dubbed into English. K. Gordon Murray, whose other claim to fame was his contribution to 1939's The Wizard of Oz. His contacts in the carnival sideshow world helped them round up all the little people cast as the Munchkins. Now, muchachos, get ready for a swamp monster with Kermit the Frog feet who finds himself up against Gaston Santos and his dancing horse, Moonlight. Ned, mi amigo. There you have it, everybody. Doc Burrows, movie lore. Doc, you are the mang. You are the mang. You are the mang. All right, everybody, let's head to tonight's movie. Come on, let's do it together. Roll it, Lester, or what? Here he is. We brought his casket. He died in that cabin. Killed by the beast. The beast? Actually, his son. It was the son of a beast, but that sounded too much like a sequel. The beast. <laughs> the beast. Beast. Come on, he's just scratching his nose. His body won't take the heat any longer. I think you should bury him now. I'd like to accompany the casket to the cemetery, Doctor. Let them take me. I'm not going to deny your rights, since you are his widow. I'll go with him, too. I love my brother. But nobody else can go with you. His body might have some disease. It swallowed many tequila worms, I know that. What's the matter? You said you wanted to see a color movie. So tell me, what color is that water? Beige, cyan, sludge dye number two. <laughs> trouble is they'll be passing through the haunted swamp. The trouble is a lot of things must pass through that swamp to make it that color. <laughs> <laughs> it's the skull of George Lopez. He does have a very big head. Grande. Grande. Hey, George! Que pasa, George?
Oh, look, even the trees are sludge die number two. Well, who is this gay caballero? The best son of a beast. See. The beast sounds kind of cranky. You'd be cranky too if you had your back hair caught in a zipper. <laughs> I hate that. In my opinion, we have only 24 hours or less before we're caught in the grips of an epidemic without being prepared to handle it. In the grips of an epidemic? Didn't they used to call dysentery the grip? Well, that would explain the color of the water. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're back on Chile Theater the other day. It was killed by the beast. The beast killed Doc Mero. Come in here. The horrible beast. The beast. The, 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 the thing so happy sometimes when the beast comes and kills people. <laughs> it is not that good when that happens. You know what I mean? Do, do you think we need a disclaimer here at all? What kind of disclaimer I mean, are you talking about? It, it is a movie imported from Mexico. It is the Mexican movie, And yes. we, we do not wish to upset any of our viewers who may be of Hispanic descent. Oh, we're absolutely because true. Because what's really funny about it is the way it was translated into English. All right, fine. I'll come okay. back to the art. And we're I not, agree with you. We're not making fun of the movie because... It's it's a Mexican movie. That is correct. So we do want you to know that. It is and a you lot know of what? Fun. I'm cool with you there. I, I agree with you there. You know what? Uh, Green Bay. We gotta all get along in Green Bay. We <laughs> all live together in this town, right? And again, we don't ever mean to offend anyone other than the people who made these horrible movies. <laughs> I guess. Well, actually, we mean to offend and everyone. <laughs> we have never seen the movie in its original form. That's right. Just the imported. So, actually, form. we're here to offend everyone, but for other reasons. Hey everybody, we're back on Chiller Theater here. Uh, you are you doing your uh, laugh in deal? Your yeah, Judy Carn? Yeah, yeah, I had a look at the at the PSA coming up. Oh yeah, we, we like to call it a Chiller Theater presents, <laughs> and that's what's coming up here <laughs> on Chiller Theater is a Chiller Theater presents. <laughs> What we like to do again, we like to give you some tips. We like to give you some info. Now, this one tonight, the Chiller Theater presents, apparently starring Judy Carn oh. of uh, Laugh-In fame. Now, for yeah. those of you who are super old, like uh, Doc <laughs> Moreau here, the Laugh-In thing, uh, Judy Carn uh, pretty much never had any other career other than Laugh-In, did she? Suck it to me. I know, I know. Suck it to me. I know. She was to come on with the wall on Laugh-In and you know, was not all that funny on that. So hopefully we're able to dress her up and you found her funny though, didn't you? Well, tell, tell the truth, tell she's the truth. also a bit British. I know, you see that's something. She had that, the bulb hair color. Right, the, the, to me the Brit humor is just dull. It's dull. You know what, everybody, oh, Monty Python this, Monty Python that. You know what, <laughs> I never found that funny. I didn't find it funny in those days. I don't find it funny now. Oh. Do you know that? Oh. I don't. And, and I, Betty Hill, though. Did, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Betty Hill, that's really funny. Well, I'll tell you what, once again here, friends, it's going to be called, what's it called? Oh, it's about saving a life. It's about there. Yeah, see, that's why I don't find it funny, because just a bunch of big dudes running around. I don't know, man. You and I differ in many ways, yet we share so many things. Let's go share some things. aid usually taught is artificial respiration, a means of imitating the natural breathing process. When breathing stops, our source of oxygen is cut off. If the body's vital organs have not been damaged, especially the heart, there is an excellent chance for survival. Very interesting. But in Knowledge of the respiratory system will help you to understand how artificial respiration works and why it works. Breathing may be stopped as a result of a variety of serious injuries, such as electric shock, drowning, suffocation, and gas poisoning. Time. 
Symptoms of suffocation are nausea, <coughs> loss of consciousness, <coughs> discoloration of lips and earlobes, <coughs> the pupils of the eyes become dilated, <coughs> and breathing stops. Very interesting, but morbid. Yeah. Artificial respiration must be quickly started. This is the Holger Nielsen back pressure arm lift, one of the four methods of artificial respiration recommended. Another method of artificial respiration is the Schaefer or prone pressure method. The Sylvester method of artificial respiration may be used when injuries or wounds may preclude the use of other methods. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation is considered the most efficient and practical method of artificial respiration because it provides more air to the lungs directly and immediately than any other technique. Those who do not wish to come in contact with the victim's mouth may hold a handkerchief over it. This does not greatly affect the exchange of air. In emergencies, everyone should be prepared to breathe for someone else, whether it be their own child, a neighbor, or a fellow worker. Hey, friends, Chiller Theater Swamp of the Lost Monsters, Doc Moreau. I'm Ned the Dead. How are you, Doc? <laughs> I am fine. Oh, we got the horsey prancing coming up, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, this stuff's cool. I have to say, you watch this stuff, it's, it would have to be horribly uncomfortable. And I'm sure the horses don't dig it any all too much, you know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine, yeah. you know, let's say on one hand, a wild Mustang cruising on the range, you know, running wildly. And, <laughs> the, other, right. and then on the other hand, <laughs> and the horrible dancing horse, which one lost there? You know what I'm saying? Well, one of them may have a more comfortable life, yet the other is free and one is doing horrible steps. It's such a miracle, though. He's such a huge animal it's not... to move like that. <laughs> what, such a miracle that somebody could horribly <laughs> teach the, the horse to do that? But well, something know. could love carrots and sugar so much. <laughs> That's right. It's to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, everybody, we're going to go check it out and get ready. Here comes horsey prancing. Enjoy. Moonlight. Some bueno horse dancing, no? Si, si, bueno horse dancing. Why is the water so nice and clear below? With a sludgy film on the surface? I don't know. And the Bist isn't even trying to catch this guy. You want to catch this guy? Uh, maybe I'd pass. <laughs> oh, home sweet home. Land sweet land. Oh, that Martian again. <laughs> Martian? Must be a bad translation since clearly we are in a swamp, not a marsh. We well, should have called it a swampshun then. See? See? Man alive, I've been talking about myself all this time and I didn't notice you. You've been wounded. Forget it, Squirrel Eyes. It's just a scratch. But it could get infected. No, 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 no. We'd better have you patched up in town. It's serious. Okay, you win. You bet I win. So he's calling this guy Squirrel Eyes? You got a problem with that? Raccoon Eyes? That wound won't do you win, son. And the cholera won't either, right, Doctor? Cholera? Did they say cholera or color of the water? <laughs> hey, they both could kill you.
Russells. He came here to help my nephew. You respect him or you answer to me. This was all a big mistake. That's okay. Happens all the time. Gaily dressed, red-headed gringo with a dancing horse? Probably does happen all the time. Hey, so, you so you're, you're, you're the guy in the monster costume. Yeah. What kind of shots do they have to give you to swim in that water? Dude, you can think? you imagine that? <laughs> oh, I know. That is just <laughs> some sick. You know, I'm thinking it's... you need shots after you've been in that costume to begin with. But as you say, that water's oh. not helping matters at all, oh. is it? It's, it's, ugh. No, I know. I know. And I, maybe it's just the transfer or whatever on these movies, you know, the way that, but it sure doesn't look clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of times, what kind of, what is that? I mean, <laughs> is it, I know, do you wonder? Yeah. You know what I like to do a lot of times? Sometimes I just like to go down to the edge of the water. I live by the water, of course. Uh, I like to go down to the edge of the water. <laughs> I like to get in the boat. I have a boat, of course, in a small rowboat. And I like to row out. And then I just love to sing to myself. And I don't, I don't need to have anyone around. I hum, I sing. Sometimes I'm clothed, sometimes I'm not. And I just, I love to just lay in the sun and sing and row and sing and row and just get sick. Letters, we get letters, and they're letters and they're letters that we love to enjoy. Hey everybody, you know what? On Chiller Theater, we don't just get letters, and we do get tons of letters, but we also get excellent emails, and I'd like to share a couple of our excellent emails. First of all, we got one here from Ed in Fond du Lac, and Ed says, Hey, Ned, I just thought in honor of the Wit Ice Fisherman, you should change the name of tonight's movie to Attack of the Giant Walleye Bait. Clearly, that was back with the Attack of the Giant Leeches 26 weeks ago. And we, by the way, we don't read them right away. I guess that's another thing <laughs> I'd like to mention. That if you send us something, mm. if you send us an email, we read them, but we may not read them on the show for a couple of months or whatever. So don't let that freak you out, okay? It doesn't mean that we're not gonna, okay? All right, so Attack of the Giant, well, all right. Also, Ned, if you could use your dark powers to make it stop snowing, except now, what is it, April 23rd or whatever <laughs> that this shows on. See, so it worked, right? Oh. I, we assume it actually oh. worked, right? So we did use our powers. All right, I've watched you from the beginning, never miss a show, but I think it's time for some new movies. Tell those guys in charge to buy some newer movies. Let's, shall we do that now, mm. Randy? Yeah. All right, uh, or Dr. Moreau, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it again. All right, here we go. Please, Please can we have some, some new movies? movies. Please, Please, can we have <laughs> some new movies? All right. See? That worked. How's that going to go? Yeah. All righty, here we go, everybody. Now we got something from Andy, our friend Andy, and said, uh, Ned and Doc Moreau, just want to let you know that your Tell Your Friends About Chiller Theater campaign is starting to get some results. There I was, sitting in the Darboy Culver's, having a chocolate malted, when what should I hear but a guy tell some friends that he and his wife are into horror movies. I remembered the campaign you started, and naturally I told them about Chiller Theater, and of course they had never heard of it, <laughs> and, they, and they promised to watch. Hey, perhaps you give a shout out to David and Emily in Appleton. David teaches music theory at Lawrence University, until this is said, and Emily teaches oboe, so this could potentially be a huge seeing they both reach out and touch developing minds every day. I can see it now. Chiller Theater viewing parties in the Viking Room every Saturday night yeah. at Lawrence University. Yeah. The oboe. I think the wolf was played by the oboe. <laughs> I can't whistle as well. The wolf <laughs> is played by the oboe. All right, everybody, enjoy. <laughs> Write us. Send your stuff to Chiller Theater, P.O. Box 22404, Green Bay. Yeah. Green Bay with 54305. Send it and enjoy. Or send it to Ned the Dead at NEW.RR.com. La 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 It's a shame but the fish ain't biting Gotta keep on fishing cause the pond may go dry today Okay fishies get ready cause the hook's on its way There she blows! I swear I'll never fish here again. The swamp ghost brought him back. Julie, who's in here with us? I don't know. There's no one here. Julie, do you realize I can't see a thing? I've been blind for several months now. I decided to be a great detective. 
fight crime and solve mysteries. And you made it after all. You were a detective even when we were young. The case of the missing rag doll. Yeah. There wasn't a secret I couldn't find out. Wow, he's like a real hardy boy. <laughs> I've been hit! Oh. What's the matter? Why are you shouting? Uh, the monster clobbered me out there on the porch. After that, he brought me here to this room. When I saw you out there on the terrace, I brought you in and threw you on the bed. Just like I do every night. Hey, everybody, we're back on the old Jiller Theater. What do you think, Fred? <laughs> Swapping the lost monster? What? That was cool. Oh, yeah. You were, you had a little cameo oh, in yeah. the movie there, and you're not even wet. Every once in a while. I'll tell Is you that, what, I, uh, You're slick, though. I have a huge <laughs> blow dryer because I'm just so sweaty anyway that it helps me just with my normal life. So I get hugely blown down each day. So that's why how I can remain and dry. And powdered. You know, here's and the powdered. question I have. If the swamp thing is outside your door, do you not think it would smell like fish outside your door? And don't you think that underneath the door, because you got to presume you so. that a stinky monster, like a monster like that's got to have a stench to it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. don't you, especially in that water. I do that. Right? So, you know, yeah. to me, I think you'd know. When I'm well, watching stuff, I'm like old Westerns. I'm wondering what those guys smell oh, like in their, their red long johns right. that they wear under their chaps. Yeah, and they apparently don't have a lot of showers. You no. know what I mean? I'm guessing it was some ripeness. They, they might shower on Saturday night if they need to or not. That's right, which we might go do now. <laughs> hey, everybody, we're back on Chiller Theater. Oh, I can smell the tacos, can't you, oh. Randall? Oh, thank you. Yeah, They're I know. wafting in. Oh, that's never good. They brought the food in here late in the show. That is never a good idea. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got a ways to go yet. No, I know. And they got funny looks on their faces as though they somehow challenged the food back there. Because mm. uh, look at them. Look at them. They're, they have a look as though maybe the food was, mm. uh, you know, was messed mm. with a little. I hope not, because I'm really, really hungry. All right, everybody, let's get to the So enough of this talk about food. Let's get to the movie. Get. Movie, movie. And the crowd goes wild. Yay. What is up with that? Maybe the best is ordering an anchovy pizza. Now, what's with all the bubbles? The anchovy pizza. Anchovies always give the best los putz. Los putz? See? I wouldn't do that for a million pesos. Hunt for the best? No, put on those little red speedos. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? We had a, it's a Western horror mystery movie, and now we had a little Tarzan thrown in too, because <laughs> like, he's wrestling with the monster in his little speedos. You see what I enjoy okay. too is now we've we've talked about the water already. Probably the muddiest water ever seen. Yeah, it is. It is one grain of sand away from being a solid. <laughs> you know, yet you go to the underwater shot, suddenly clear as a bell. Ooh, you wonder how that works. Yeah. I mean, you pick the worst awful water, and yet again, then you shoot the underwater thing in a tank somewhere <laughs> where everything you could be drinking while mm. you're filming. Obviously, uh, mm. no problem there. What do you think? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's suspicious. Hey, do you have any idea what next week's movie is? Next week's movie is The Atomic Brain. It is? How do you know it is. that? How, you are amazing. I'm I will say ahead. I was testing you thinking there's no I'm way he ahead. knows this. I like that movie too, don't you? Yeah. Atomic Brain? The poster is probably it's just under here. Oh, no. Don't touch <laughs> the outside of the booth, my friend. That's it's, for the... That's Gaston for the, uh, Santos. Uh, it is Gaston. There he is. There he is. Yeah. There he is. All right, everybody. Let's roll. We love you. Me, 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 me. Hey, everybody, we're back on Chiller Theater. What are you doing there? <laughs> yeah. You know, when in doubt, just do the music thing. Just uh, We can just talk about the music. Oh. I know. I'll tell you what. What I think you should do, call your local radio stations and yeah. tell them to put that Chiller Theater theme Ooh. on. This is a good idea, friends. Tell yeah. you what, you call up those dried up, rotten radio stations that do nothing but play the same old songs for 100 years, and you say, hey, why don't you play something cool from around here instead of that ridiculous junk that you play from 50 <laughs> years ago? Try that. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Hey, why'd you have to do that? He can fall down all by himself. He doesn't need any help from you. Just where's this horse going anyway? El Norte, Hollywood. His agent got him an audition for Mr. Ed. I'm coming, Wilbur. Let's talk about Javier. He got to the ranch before he died. He talked in front of witnesses. Why do you think I'm uh, interested in what he said? Who's not going to be interested in the disappearance of a corpse just when they were getting ready to bury it? I'm confused. Didn't the guy just tell him to shut up? <laughs> the most interesting fact was that the man was alive still. You're not making much sense. I think you know what I'm talking about. That Doña Maria is blind. That by taking advantage of the fact that you were able to carry out the disappearance, she never found out the truth. Told him not to move, too. Oh, that Gaston, he is mucho hombre. <laughs> I made it. Check this out. I am Mr. Ed. <coughs> now you shut up and don't move. Hey everybody, here we are on Taco Th Chiller Theater. Excuse me. Yeah. Man, the smell of that food. I'll tell you, once again, I'm, how do you feel about smells? Are you the kind of person that's, you know, that, uh, you know what I mean, that well, my, is affected by smells? My memories are really tied into them. You know, well, I'll tell you that. You know what? And it's funny because uh, people don't smell as much as they used to, I don't think. I think there's a lot. Did you do that over there? You mean they just, don't? They don't audibly. I don't think audibly. <laughs> they, don't have, <laughs> they don't have smell you can hear, <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. They don't have a hearing <laughs> smell. But you know, it used to be in the old days, I think there were a lot more people who were just had, hey, it's funny. I'm in the car with my kid, got a nine year old, right? Got some kids. And uh, disposal unit says something about BO. We're chuckling about BO, about some deal. She said, yeah, it must have been the smell of the paper miller. She said, God, it smells like BO. And of course, the kid goes, what's BO? They could. Maybe B.O. isn't something they talk about anymore because there's so oh. many products to fight off B.O. And I mean, B.O., we used to joke yeah. about B.O. a lot. Yeah. Well, more on that in a bit. All right, everybody, we're talking about B.O. or the lack of B.O. on humans in today's world. Now, yes. I discovered a little something, man, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clue you in here to a little secret that I discovered. You're going to have to go watch the movie and then come on back, and I'm going to tell you a, a something that I discovered that is something guys don't get that I learned by mistake, which I now realize, and has just helped me in every way. I know, this is and I, this is actually pretty funky. So once again, go dig on some movie, come on back, and I'm gonna share with you a major deal. My ankles, lucky my horse does all the dancing. Help me find Julie, come on. A saddle horn. That little gay caballero hit me! The horse has come back! Let's get him! The old henchmen run after the escaped horse trick. Works every time. Not know sleep is good for you. Hey, Chiquita. We'll handle the one-liners if you don't mind. One cart, two. Give me two good ones. Go fish. All right, let's play. All right, everybody, here we go. I got. I only got a minute, so I got to do this fast. Okay, so one day I'm running out of my pit junk. I'm using Old Spice, you know, super whatever it is. Run out of the pit junk. So the spousal unit's got the secret right there. So I figure, ah, what the heck, I gotta put you something. I put the secret on. So I go to work and all of a sudden, like two of the ladies at work go, you smell great. Two of them in one day. Now this comes from a reeking little ick pile like me. So the fact that any woman would ever say you smell great. So all of a sudden I thought, well, I bet it was that stuff since I didn't use anything else. So I, I began to use that stuff. Well, I can't tell you how many times girls come up to me and they go, man, Ned, you smell great. 
It's the stuff they like. Here's the whole deal. We think that they like the, you know, like we have the, you know, strata, men strata. You know what? We think that they like that. They don't like that. They like the junk that they wear. So right now, I am wearing secret vanilla chai. <gasps> and I'm telling you, there's a pile of women waiting to be with me after the show. There's like a hundred of them back there. Secret vanilla chai. Smell this. Smell this right now. Is that not excellent? Isn't that? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> hey everybody, it's the Manly Ned the Dead and my friend. Yeah, <laughs> where? Huh? Yeah, yeah, where is the Manly Ned the Dead? You know what, friends, I'll tell you what. I am who I am. I'm okay with myself. You know what? When you're kind of semi-icky, fat little dork, and nobody really cares anyway. You no. know what I'm saying? Oh, it's no. True. It's true. No, it's true. No. Oh, yeah. All right, People coming care. up coming up next week. What's our movie again there, Winky? The, the Atomic, Atomic Brain. Brain. All right. Also then, we're going to go groove on the final segment of Swap of the Lost Monster. We'll come back here and touch base. We thank you. We love you. Let's go see it now. Olé! The best! I almost forgot about the best. What's he been up to? I'd say, uh, the best has been out on a bit of a bender. At the bistro! <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks? Uncle Fabian! And my insurance scam would have worked too if it weren't for you meddling kids! Who asked you? One more. Hey, everybody, we're back at the old Silly <laughs> Theater. We're so hungry, we can barely handle it. You notice we're talking fast because those tacos are wearing a big hole in my nose back there, aren't they? Oh, they're good. Yeah, no, he's, he's no, you stay here. Oh. Otherwise, there's no, you know, you're going to have to wait right now. All right, Swamp of the Lost Monster, everyone. We hope you liked it, right? Yeah. I liked it. I don't know what it's about. Uncle too. Fabian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, huh? <laughs> All right, everyone. Front row. Hey, turn in and tune in next week, and we're going to enjoy our show. We're going to be with you because we love you. We thank all of the people who worked so hard to put this show on. We thank our fabulous sponsors. We thank you, Van Breedy. We thank you, the TV viewers, and we urge you to share Chiller Theater with a friend. If, well, or with an acquaintance. Or a taco. Not, you may not want to do that with your friends. And then share a taco with each other. I guess that's it. Share Chiller Theater, then share a taco with each other. Until next week, everybody. We love you. We need you. We thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. You are wonderful people. Uh, what?